Andre Ward, the number one fighter in all of the galaxies. Um, the number one pound for pound, <laughs> pound for pound fighter in all of the galactic universe. Um, recently dispatched of number 23 ranked Sullivan Barrera in a classic performance, just an unbelievable classic performance that I made it through three rounds up before I got put into a coma. Um, but just, just another classic performance by Andre Ward, just technically just dispatching and uh, j just just so much ring intelligence and, and just just did a number on this guy um but the, he had such a great performance and he's a, the best fighter in all of the galaxy but he needs another tune up i mean I, that's what i'm that's what i'm hearing i'm hearing from from the same the same people who were saying he's so great and he just performed so great are telling me are asking the question does he need another tune up for kovalev <laughs> Design, I mean, you hear it everywhere. Does does Andre Ward need another another tune up before Kovalev? And I'm asking myself, what's what's going on? What what is really going on here? Well, you ever ask yourself, like, just step back and look at this picture? A guy who is is everybody is telling you how great he is, but then. At the same token, they don't treat him as he's great. If if they were, they wouldn't be asking if he needs another tune-up. They wouldn't even ask if he needed a tune-up this fight. He, he wouldn't have even had to fight Barrera if they treated him how they ranked him. So I, I, I asked myself, like, why is this going on? Why is this happening? When Floyd stepped up, to 54 did he need a tune-up did he need a tune-up before De La Hoya and Canelo and Cotto when Pacquiao moved up two weight classes to fight De La Hoya did he get a tune-up did people were people screaming for the tune-up when Golovkin was supposed to step up to 60 when everybody wanted to step up to 68 to fight uh, Andre Ward speaking of where are these same people saying, oh, Golovkin needs a tune-up at 68? No. <laughs> no. When Pacquiao stepped up to 52 or whatever it was to fight Margarita, did he need a tune-up? So I asked myself, if Andre Ward is being put in the same breath, in the same category as these guys, why are we treating him differently? What's really going on here? And I haven't yet put my finger on it. But I'm getting close. I'm getting close. And maybe you guys can help me with this. But what is this? What is this that's going on? Because if he was truly the number one fighter in all of the galaxies. The best fighter. If he's number... <laughs> ESPN recently had them. They're doing their their list this week of top 25 fighters of the top the last 25 years, and they had them ranked 17th. <laughs> they had them ranked ahead of Vladimir Klitschko. They had them ranked in between James Tony and Eric Morales. Yeah, they had them ranked ahead of Eric Morales. And when I asked a question about this on Twitter, one of the writers who was on this devises list said. Obviously, you guys don't understand what pound for pound is about. Well, obviously, I don't. Obviously, I, I I don't. You're right. It's because he, according to him, it's not it's not by resume. It's by the eye test. Oh, okay, okay. But we've been down that road before. But once again, I'm just not understanding why uh, he's not ready for Kovalev. And he's the top guy. And they're separated by seven pounds. They were separated by seven pounds. So you're telling me he needs two fights before he's ready for a guy he's ranked ahead of in the pound-for-pound pound rankings. They're not separated by much weight on fight night. A couple pounds, maybe. Yet he needs another tune-up. Interesting. 
very, very interesting.